In this video, we'll be sharing how you can view online streaming websites like View, YouTube, HBO Go, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and Disney+. Plus. Depending on where you are, you could access many more online streaming websites. Hi guys, my name is Don, and I'm not a pro driver. At the time of taking this video, this method actually works. Just a disclaimer though, this may or may not work by the time you're watching this, all right? That's because there are factors like developers that are working with the uh, online streaming websites and might enforce, I don't know, securities or restrictions that may not make this work in the future. So let, let's get onto it. Right now, I'm using Android 12. I'll leave all the links that I'll be using in the description below so you can check out the compatibility and whatnot. Let's start here. With Chrome, I'll just search for AA Store, right? And then from here, I can tap on this. This is Crocio Android Auto Store. All right, so I'll tap on that. And then from here, it gets you to a GitHub page. If you see the first download link, tap on that, and it will download the app or the APK. So download anyway. So let's just wait for this to finish. All right, so once that's done, it will tell you file downloaded. Just open that. And then say here for your security, your phone, change. You can change this in settings. Do you want to install this app? Sure. And then open. And then just say allow this from source, right? I'll do that. So from here, you will see that. Okay, okay so I, I just want to. Okay, there we go. So we have AA store here. Awesome. And then when you tap on that, you would see CartTube, CartTube controller, custom app one. That's custom app one to 10. We'll start with CartTube first. Uh, actually, this is YouTube. So if I tap on that, I hit install and then settings again, and then allow from this source. All right. Install and then open and then record audio permission. Proceed. And then while using this app, sure. And then that's it. I guess one of the limitations of this app is that you can't, you, you can log into your account, but you have to donate something. All right. At this point, I can uh, view it in Android Auto. Oh yeah, so I have to disconnect and then reconnect again from Android Auto. Every time you would install something from AA Store, you would have to disconnect your cord or your cable and then reconnect again, right? So I go into Android Auto. Now we can see CarTube. And if I hit on that and we have something, uh, drive carefully and respect the rules of the road, right? Viewing the screen while the vehicle is running could cause serious accidents. Use this app only when the vehicle is stationary. All right, so I don't need to remind you of that. Uh, the app actually tells you. And there we go. All right, so let's go with, I don't know, how do I search here? Uh, oh, oh, there we go. So here, search, and then say, I'll just type in from my phone, not a pro. There we go. And then I'll just tap on this. So it should work. Is there volume? Awesome. All right, so that works. Uh, before I forget, when you install an app from the AA store, it doesn't really work when you're driving. So if I, right now I'm on park, right? If I hit drive, this is what happens. So th these doesn't work when you're driving. It only works when you're stationary. And so the other apps like View, Hulu, and you know, the apps that we will be installing will be the same. So if you're still interested in knowing how to install those apps here in Android Auto, keep watching. You might want to try out CarTube controller if you want to. It, it says here, if I tap on CarTube controller, it says here, CarTube bottom controller like Spotify. To use it, you need to disable battery optimizations. Start playback from CarTube app, then press home, open CarTube controller, and it will work. If you want to try that, do that. But I'll move on to the first app, which is custom app one. So I'll tap on this. I'll go first with view. So I'll install this first, go with install, open. And then th this is what you'll see. So just hit permission, proceed while using the app. Click here to insert this one at the middle, click to insert or select the URL of the website you want to convert into Android Auto. All right, so this is the URL. You have to add the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash always, and then hit on OK. All right, so now it, it seems like you will be able to view the app from here, technically like a web browser, right? But without the 
normal UI components that you would see on, let's say, the address bar, the back button, the home button, your tabs, and so on and so forth. It's just a browser within an Android app container, Android auto app container, right? That's what it is. And then from here, if you want to, if you have an account in view, you might want to tap on view premium at the bottom here, and then it will ask you to log in. There we go. All right. But uh, the thing is, we want to test it here on Android Auto. So I will remove the cord or cable and then reconnect again. All right. And then hit Android Auto and then go to the app launcher. I have custom app one. So this is it. If I tap on that and then confirm. So it's still loading. Yeah. So full screen just to take up this part of the screen. So yeah, that works. Now onto the second app. Again, it, it's important to note if I go back to AA store here, uh, once I add a custom app, I can't change the URL anymore. Technically you would have 10 containers and if you used one, you can't modify it. The only way that you can change though, so let's say you have used all the 10 and say you want to change something. if you run out of those 10, you have to reformat your phone. It's not as easy as uninstalling AA Store app to reformat your phone and then install the whole thing again, right? Again, this is from my experience testing this. So I suggest you use another phone that you rarely use or like a secondary phone that's fine with you to reformat every now and then. <laughs> Yeah, j just, a, just a word of caution. All right, so moving on to the second app, right? custom app two. There we go. Hit install. And now we'll be going with HBO Go. Okay, so install, open, and then proceed while using. Tap on this. I'll tap on the um, URL. Okay. All right, so I I'll just be signing in here, guys, and then I'll get back to once it's done. All right. So I've signed in now and you can see here from the top, it says watch list and then open and close parentheses one. Uh, so I'll again, disconnect and then reconnect the cable, right? Yeah. I'll just tap on something here and then full screen forward and back again. This is like a browser, right? So you have these forward backwards and forward buttons. It's quite annoying. I'll tell you how you can remove that. So I'll do it again. I'll just tap 10 seconds here at the bottom. Ah, there we <laughs> Okay, it looks like tapping this and that pauses it and then just go moving forward. Yeah. All right, so moving on to the third app, Amazon Prime. So let's do that and then go. So I'll go back to AA Store, hit back, custom app three, and then install. And then here, you would see here, there is an option. It says here, hide bottom, corners arrows on cars app but so i just tap on that so it hides those forward and back buttons at the bottom uh okay so here i'll type in all right hit okay so i'll just sign in first all right so now i'm in again disconnect and then reconnect then android auto this one see uh custom app three so now we're in amazon and then let's just tap on something here. And then play season one, episode one. So you can see here it's a lot cleaner because there are no like uh, forward and back buttons at the bottom. Your browser does not support high def playback due to content restrictions. Okay, I don't care. Tap on X. So this is the biggest. So that works, right? Now uh, we'll move into Hulu. Here in the Philippines, we need a VPN. So I'll first access or enable my VPN. So I'll just hit quick connect here and then go back to AA store and then hit custom app four install. So it's hulu.com and then hit okay. And there we go. So sign up for Hulu or sign in. So here at the top, the yeah, more button tap on that and then hit login. So I'll just log in here. All right. So I'm in now. So again, disconnect and then reconnect. So that's custom app four. Right. Confirm. All right. There we go. And then we have play. Let's just play something here. So increase the volume for a while. There we go. So yeah, that's it. So the way to go with this is just remove the, um, every time you create a custom app, remove the, uh, what do you call these? The arrows at the bottom. 
for the fifth app, Disney Plus. So I'll go back to AA Store. I'll hit that. Then Custom App Install. DisneyPlus.com. Okay. Let's wait for it. There we go. And then hit Login. There we go. Okay. So again, disconnect and then reconnect. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, for Disney Plus, uh, I just want to remind you that they're launching here in the Philippines this November. So I believe you don't need to have a VPN for this. If you can wait, then great. Uh, all right. So that's CA5, custom app 5 for Disney. Confirm. This is probably one of my favorite streaming apps at this point because of Star Wars. Let's wait. There we go. Hit on my profile right there. And then Star Wars. And then just hit something. And then it'll play. Star Wars for the win. Okay, nice scrub. There we go. And then hit play. Ah, it's playing already. Sorry. Give me some action. Yep, that's it. You might be wondering why. Where's Netflix, right? It's probably one of the most, well, not probably. It's one of the famous online streaming apps that we have to date. So we tried that, Netflix. The problem was, I mean, it works. You can go into, so if you tap like, the custom app 6 and, and it will reflect Netflix it shows up everything shows up but once you start playing a video that's where the problem lies there's like this pardon this interruption type of thing and then it will show an error you might want to try it but um, for us it doesn't work here so yeah again that's one of those limitations that I said earlier that all these services so far it may work now but in the future it may not all right so there's one more thing that I want to show you guys here in AA Store, and that would be the local player, local video player. So if you scroll down here at the bottom, somewhere here, and then tap on local video player, hit install, and then tap install. Yep, that's it. I would disconnect and then reconnect. You should see local video player here on Android Auto. There we go. So local video player. So it says here, ah, okay still the same search a video so right now i'm going to be searching for a video so if i tap on share so this is let's say the file right if i tap on share and then this will be the local video player i'll, I'll tap on that and it, it, then it will show this right so that's the video file let me see uh, if this still is hit on drive yeah so it's still the same you can't view local files while you're driving so that's one way of watching from your favorite streaming platforms. And we do know that it has a really big limitation. When you hit drive, it won't show anything. But if you're really interested into watching something while driving, you might want to check out this video. And if you're interested into more Tigo A Pro features, check out this playlist here at the bottom. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hanggang sa ulitin. Kita kits.